Hello. So somebody asked how we could go about updating our puzzle podium thingies to where if we interact with it and it has a little timer and then it resets back to its original position. So right now they only move when we interact with it, but it's actually not too difficult to set up. So let's do that real quick. So inside the puzzle podium, we need to add a couple things. I'm going to add a Boolean. That is B resets. I'm going to make this uh, visible outside in the editor. So click that little eye so we can see it from the outside. I'm going to add a branch right here at the end of the event interact after it rotates and sets that it can go back to rotating. Let's check to see if this is resettable. If it is, let's add a retriggerable delay. So retriggerable delay is different than a regular delay because as it says, calling again while it is counting down will reset the countdown to duration. So basically if it's five seconds and you call it at the two second mark, it goes back to the full five seconds instead of doing the three and then going through and then doing it again. So they're really handy for stuff like this. So we're going to promote this duration to a variable called reset timer which will basically be how long after we've interacted with it that it'll reset back to its original position. And then after that counts down, basically we want to do all of this again. So we will take everything right here, even the timeline, not the branch to check to see if it can rotate, we just want this right here. So control C and control V to paste it over here. And we're going to create a custom event called reset podium. And just plug it in right there. So after the retriggerable re delay, we will call that reset podium function. Now we don't want it to reset the exact same way because right now it's just going to go to the right 90 degrees. So we can get rid of this, but now we need a new B destination for it. So up above our event interact, let's do a begin play. And basically we're going to take the box's relative rotation, control C and control V, and we'll promote that to a variable called initial rotation just like that so over here in our reset podium thing let's grab out that initial rotation we can split the struct pin by right clicking and clicking that and then we'll just plug that oh so we can make rotator and then then plug it in like that you actually probably could just plug it in just directly because it's going to only have zero zero there and this is the only one that's really going to change um but however you want to do it i'm going to open this up real quick and adjust it so i want this to actually be one second for it to reset so I'll set the length to one and the time to one of this keyframe. Compile that and then back out here. And we want to make sure that we get this can rotate boolean also. So unfinished, it can go back to being interacted with. Move all this in a little bit. Compile that and now I've got one set up right here. And I'm just going to go through and set these all that are resettable and two seconds for the reset timer. Except you in the middle, you'll be a, just a one that stays. So now if I go up to the one in the middle and rotate it, it stays. But if I rotate that one, it rotates back. But if I get that one, and then... Oh, I barely made that. But now if you've got them separated out a little ways, you can change this time so I can... I don't know why you would want it to be a half second. 
but maybe they rotate at different rates. Woo! Hey, I made it though. Half seconds too slow, or too fast rather, but you get the gist. You can set it to have different rotation rates. And then there it goes. So yeah, that's how you can have them to reset automatically. So if I fail in getting it, so let's say I take too long to get to this one. So now I gotta get back to that one. So it's a fun little addition. So hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.